Greetings, not so great legion. This is Master Max at eight, and today I know I was scheduled to react to the Brony Community Part Four, but slight change of plans. I added the Brony Community Part Four in my favorites, and since it was a video I was extremely hyped for and I was highly anticipating, I couldn't resist watching it. I ultimately gave in. Temptation got the best of me, and I watched the video. So, change of plans. Instead of that, today I'm gonna be reacting to, uh, what's the name of this? A Guitar Centered Rainbow Rocks Exclusive Short Mount Pony Equestria Girls. There's a lot of words in that title. It's basically a sketch, uh, promoting the next Equestria Girls movie. Uh, but, yeah, I do want, however, to give my thoughts on, um, uh, the Bruni Community Part 4. And if you don't want to hear this, there's gonna be an annotation somewhere. Uh, in this video, you just have to click on it and you'll get right to the react. Um, no problem at all. If you don't want to hear my thoughts, you can just click that link and you'll get to the react. Um, that said, it was a video I was really anticipating. I knew it would be great and indeed it was absolutely fantastic. Brainstorm delivered again. A really an amazing video. Uh, it was entertaining. It was funny. It had great jokes uh, to it. It featured some pretty cool bronies. There was Alex S, Wooden Toaster. Everyone knows Wooden Toaster. Uh, there was the return of Thunderclub 69. Uh, I, was, I really laughed when I saw that. That was pretty cool. Uh, who else there was? Um, Man, I don't even fucking remember the other ones. I kind of feel stupid now, but it was, it was really awesome. Alex S and Thunder Club 69 was probably my favorite sketch. Oh, there was there was one sketch with Lauren Foss with a little idiotic brony who kept uh, annoying the shit out of her. I just wanted to punch that asshole. But uh, really, the sketch with Alex S, uh, he, he sort of he left the brony community, and uh, you had those guys with the fedora, <laughs> fedora con. That was another joke in there, uh, and. You see him leaving, the guy tips his fedora, and then he just says, See you later, horse fuckers! And then he crashes with a sort of wagon and explodes. That was, that was fucking insane. Uh, I really liked the jokes. There was, I, I do believe there was a lot of more inside jokes in this one, so the guys that created the, the video had more inside jokes sort of between them. Uh, so that's why I would have to say that part one and two are my favorite, because I was more familiar with the bronies than these two and the jokes really made me laugh a little bit more I, I guess I could say uh, but overall the video was extremely funny uh, and if you haven't seen the brony communities I would highly encourage you to watch those uh, it's uh, made by Brainstorm Cartoons I'm gonna link uh, the, the brony community part 4 in the description so click on this and if you haven't seen the other ones uh, watch all of them while you're at it um, and he hinted uh, a part five. I, 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 spoilers alert, I should have told you guys <laughs> that I would spoil the video, but he did indeed uh, say that part, there would be a part five and it is going to be the last one. Um, but he did pretty much everything. Uh, he, although, he could do something about the 4chan bronies. Still hasn't done that. Uh, he hasn't done anything regarding the gaming community uh, and the brony community, so things like fighting his magic, pony card, uh, mild pony creepy pasta, even that would be cool to have some mild pony creepy pasta in there. Uh, it didn't uh, include the SFM animators, so Ferex Seas, uh, Argeo Demon, Estric 91. Didn't include those guys, and. Um, other than that, he pretty much did everything, so I'm really curious to see who he's gonna pick for part 5. But anyway, enough rambling, and here's some magic light that I just made appeared out of nowhere, and I'm gonna start the react video of Guitar Centered, Rainbow Rocks Exclusive Shard, blah 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 blue. Let's start this in 1, 2, 3, go. Start. It just started, took a little bit of time. Rainbow Rocks, Guitar Centered. Oh, we're seeing the two cutie marks of Rainbow Dash and Trixie. Here's Vinyl Scratch. I simply don't understand why you can't just play the guitar you have. Why is that? No, oh, it's fucking broken! <laughs> that explains it. How about this one? No. 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 That's a banjo. That's not even a guitar! Well, what you looking for? That's the problem! I need something that looks as awesome as I'm gonna make it Yeah, well... That's what you think. Trixie is more awesome than you are. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I think I'm fat going. Is that true? Sounds to me like this is making for a nice, friendly competition. Yep, 
That seems like it's gonna be some uh, shredding competition in this bitch. Yeah! Trixie's gonna kick your ass! That's pathetic. <laughs> Look at the skills! Look at the skills of Trixie! Look at that! She could play through fire and flames with, with, that, with only using one hand. She's too motherfucking awesome. <laughs> Look at that. No, don't even try. You're wasting your time. <laughs> Come on, Trixie! Look at that! Look at that! She's so pathetic! Oh, she's cheating! She's cheating! She's cheating! Look at that bitch! She's going Super Saiyan! She's cheating! Oh, I'm sorry, Rainbow Dash fans of this world, but she's a motherfucking cunt! How dare does she cheat to win? That guitar looks looks like shit. She can have it. Turns out this is the one that really Yeah, me. a sucky guitar for a cheating bitch. Yeah, I give the good guitar to Trixie. She, she always wins because she's the best pony. Well, that was a cheap guitar. That cost like what ten dollars? <gasps> but I'll pay for it, Trixie. Trixie, I'll pay for it. Calm down. No, I'll pay for it. I I I'm gonna cover the fee. Don't worry, Trixie. I'm not gonna let you pay all of that. Um, so we have some Asbro ads here. <laughs> uh, well, that was interesting. Um, although Trixie, you shouldn't be worried. I'm gonna pay the twenty twelve thousand dollars. No problem at all. I got you covered, Trixie. Uh, she she did so many things for me that I do her this much at least. Um, she made me <laughs> come back to life from so many deaths now. I think I died like more than ten times, and she always made me revive. So. I, I owe her this much, uh, but yeah, pretty interesting video. Um, if Trixie's gonna be in Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks, I'm definitely gonna watch this movie because I'm her number one fan. And <laughs> of course, the thing I didn't like though is that Rainbow Dash, no offense to Rainbow Dash fans here, but she cheated to win. That's that's definitely the example you want to set, right? For all the Rainbow Dash fans out there, that's that's the example she's setting for you guys. We need to cheat to win. We need to go Super Saiyan to defeat the Great and Powerful One in a shredding contest. Because she was winning fair and square. Trixie was winning. You have to agree with me here. She was winning. She was absolutely winning. Until Rainbow Dash felt like, Oh, I'm losing. I'm getting my ass whipped. I gotta go Super Saiyan. <laughs> Tell you what, that was a load of horse shit. Trixie won, fair and square. I don't care what you... If, if you're telling me that Rainbow Dash won, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. I'm... There's some people again making weird faces. Go fuck yourself. Jesus. But yeah, um... I'm gonna be looking forward to this movie. If Trixie's involved, uh, she might be like in a rival band. Uh, you gotta have uh, Twilight Sparkle with a high, high school musical band and Trixie with a rock band kicking everyone's ass, playing some metal, playing some viking metal and just singing some motherfucking screamo. That's what she's gonna... <laughs> okay, that might be pushing it a little bit too far. I, I do agree with that, but uh, it would still be interesting. You gotta agree here. But yeah, uh, awesome video. Um, Thanks to Asbro for including Trixie. I really hope she's gonna make it for season four. But anyway, I've rambled again way too much. I'm gonna end this video. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to join the Great Legion. Um, Trixie's best pony. She's the great and powerful one. She's the best pony in all of Equestria. In every uh, generation of Mild Pony Confound, she's the best pony to have ever been created, to have ever lived. She's the great and powerful one for a reason. She's better than everyone at everything. Everything you can do, she can do it better. That's a fact. So, <laughs> so with that, take it away.